Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Clint and welcome to this training about Active Campaign Email uh, Editor. Hello and welcome to Pinoy Online Channel. And bago po kayong magpatuloy sa panunod ng ating video that will help you gain more knowledge, skill set, and experience about working online and make money, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon and click all so that you will get notified for all the updates and upcoming videos of Pinoy Online Channel. Maraming salamat po! So, um, ang gagawin po natin ngayon is I will just show you some of the editing capabilities and features of Active Campaign. I'm just going to explore and what you could do in order for you to be able to um, do this in the future. Um, uh, if you're going to be assigned to actually put a um, email copy to uh, to a any campaign or automation, then you will be able to easily. Uh, set that up because you're already familiar with the editor of email um, or, or designer. Or, uh, this is what we call ito po yung tawag ng active campaign. So, okay, so let's explore the feature so that you will know how to easily edit things out here and also some of the uh, secrets, secrets, secrets para po mas mapadali yung trabaho. Okay, so uh, familiar po ito. So, the number one is in this part here. Meron po yung insert tab and options. Uh, ito po yung email editor ng Active Campaign at, at the time of this recording. So it's uh, 2020, year 2020. So probably in the future, there will be changes. But at this time, this is how it is. So insert. Then in this other uh, tab is options. So if every time you select a block here or element that you have inserted from here, blocks that you have inserted here, uh, it will be... Um, show up in the options. So if you select here, you see that uh, it opens an options. So yun po yung, um, yun po yung options. Uh, dito po niya din display yung uh, mga options per each block. So meron pong iba-ibang options per block. So for example, this is a text block. And insert po natin yung text block. So yung option ng text block ay ito po yun. This is a select text block. So you have line height, you have background color, you could actually change the background color like that. Okay, so <clears throat> that's um, that's the option for each block. Kung image naman yung insert nyo, like this, so iba din yung options niya. So you see, uh, the options here will change uh, depende po yan uh, sa block na insert nyo dito. So yun po yung uh, feature uh, overview. So you have a lot of blocks here that you could insert. So, kung may HTML code ka na i-insert, uh, dyan po yan. So, you could just uh, insert it and drag it in this part here. So, like that. Okay? So, um, and to delete that, you also have a delete option here. Okay, so, <clears throat> here's, um, um, let's just explore a couple of things here. Uh, let's probably say, if I'm going to, um, I'm going to start here. Uh, I'm going to go <laughs> do next. Okay? Okay, here on this box size here. So basically, ito po yung size na um, email uh, whenever they receive it in our uh, in, in their email services. So you could uh, change the width and height for this. So you could actually make this full width. So ganyan po yan. So it will follow through to all this uh, full here, a uh, width here of the email uh, email designer. You know, and uh, if we don't, if we have a custom image, or if we want to have a custom um, size, then we could resize it. And most likely, you know, in the in the size here is 520 pixels, like that. And um, we could also align the text or align the email to center or to the left, like that. Okay, so most likely, ang nagawa ko is ginagamit is left. Okay, so we always use left. And then um, in here also. Uh, you see this variable here, you'll see that it will be replaced um, ng pangalan kung sino yung nag-subscribe. So, for example, uh, nag-submit ako ng name. My name is Clint and I also submitted my, my email, email. So, pag-send ng email na ito sa akin, so, ang masasabi, ang sasabihin po dito is, congratulations, uh, Clint. So, i-replace -re po ito ng active campaign, whatever. Uh, the record of the name that uh, in active campaign. So yun po yung variable. In order for you to insert different variable here, if you wanted to include uh, first name, last name, email like that. 
So you could do that in personalize here. So you could insert different variables. So you could insert email address, last name, like that. So uh, makikita niyan my percentage uh, sign yan uh, with this um, text. Let's say it's last name, uh, first name, email, etc. Okay, so yun po yung uh, personalizing. So there might probably uh, kind of uh, messaging. So, for example, I, sometimes I create an email. Tapos, uh, sinasabi ko that uh, this is the information of this customer. So, I will, I will include the first name, last name, and email like that. So, that uh, the customer support will be able to review the information of the customer like that. Okay. So, um, another thing that we want to explore is um, the image. So, for example, the image options. You can see there is link. So you could actually add a link so that when they click the image, uh, they will go through, they will go to that specific link that you specify here. So you could also specify the width and so on and so forth. So I think um, I'm not gonna dwell much on that. So here's a feature that I want to uh, give you more, um, I want you to uh, take attention to because this is, will be very helpful for you. So for example, um, uh, this one, uh, I will show you. Uh, if you click this settings, meron yung tinatawag na duplicate this content block. So, duplicating a content block is actually a very advantageous uh, and easy to do. So that uh, every time you insert, because it, every time you insert a new text block, iba na po yung format niya. So you see here, it begins with an, another different font size, and uh, an, uh, you have to select, uh, you have to adjust again this font size to whatever it is that you have set so that it uh, mapapantay po yan sa previous format mo. So instead of doing that, um, uh, you just have to finalize the first block. And then, as a example, uh, I have finalized this that, okay, so I decided that this should be 15 pixels for this block here. And then also, I want this area like that. And also for the options, I want to have a line height 160 or I would probably uh, finalize it 140. So I must prefer to 160. Uh, yung line height is yung distance ng, uh, between this and this, like that. Once na nag new new line na yung uh, sentence or part of the sentence, uh, yun po yung line height and yun pong space between them. Okay, so yun po yung adjustment. So, so for example, I already finalized all the settings here that, um, okay, so I want to have a better padding at the side. Probably I will increase more of the padding for this. Um, like this, ang padding niya is 10 pixels. I want to make the padding to 10, like that, left 10. Okay, so you see, uh, the padding is much more bigger now. So, um, instead of actually um, inserting a new, what is this, a new block, a text block, and then I have to do that again, redo everything, so also I have to change the uh, settings, like, and so on and so forth then uh, it will consume me a lot of time so instead i will just duplicate this so instead of inserting a new one so i'm just going to delete this and i'm just going to uh, duplicate this so when i duplicate that i will just replace the content here so everything the format the configuration of this text block is the same as the first one so i have a uniformity so yun po yung kagandahan ng duplicate uh, block okay so another uh, another feature is that um, you could save a block. So, for example, uh, kung meron po kayong template na isa-send nyo, para pong nanginginig yung voices ko, I don't know, probably <clears throat> it's because I have cold. Um, sorry po for inconvenience. Um, yeah, nanginginig nga. Para, um, okay, so let's proceed. And here, uh... So here, uh, 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 here, ha, 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 here, ha, 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 uh, probably you already created a footer like this that you want to be added to every email so you could actually just save that to content library library so abundance money abundance so you could for example you already finalized that that so i want this to be 
10 also. Then, so I want this to be finalized uh, to be used to every footer of the other email. So I will just save that to content library. So most likely, uh, I will name it text block, and then uh, I will add a colon and what this is all about. So signature like that so it will I will specify the name of the block so that I will recognize that so save and what will happen is that it will be saved in here so you, you see here in insert you have blocks yung mga text image pero mayroon pong adding other tab yan that says save dito po, dito po yun masasave yung sinave nyo so text block you could see that I could just drag it there so you see that it's already uh, there so napakadali uh, as if, for example, kung pare-pareho po yung content na ilalagay nyo, you could actually just uh, create a text block for that and then drag. And you could also act, uh, you could act actually create like this uh, a block that is uh, probably your default. You will save it, like save it to library, and you will say text block um, my default um, text block like that so that um yun pong this uh yun pong mga settings or options niya is masisave na so i will just be able to uh, drag it and then replace the content as necessary so like that so pretty easy and very convenient in save block like this i created a button here ito po yung button na generate ko so i re i reuse this from couple of emails so instead of uh redesigning um kukunin ko naman yung size, yung padding, i-adjust na naman ko yung uh, i-adjust ko naman yung other configuration niya dito, mag a naman ako ng link and uh, maglalagay naman ako ng text. So instead of doing all that that hard work, so I just save that to library and upon saving, ito yung ginagamit ko, ginagawa ko upon saving, saving. Kung button 'yan, so nilalagay ko ng description like it's a button, then ano anong ano bang laman ng button na 'yan? So, for example, for this confirmation link like that okay so uh, there's some descriptive for that so that I could easily recognize what that uh, save block is all about so if it's a button like that so if it's a text block like this a signature like that so it's easy for me to recognize that it's a text button and what that is all about uh, what that text block is all about what that button is so yeah so those are pretty much convenient features of active campaign uh, uh, email editor sa so, para pong padali yung trabaho when you are working for uh, or, or adding copy in an email okay so i think that's all for this video hopefully this helps a lot when you are editing an email and uh, if you have any questions um, also you could explore more features like this if you go settings there is a conditional there so you could actually create a condition that uh, you could um, display if email address is equal to blah 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 then add a condition what will do uh, what will happen so if uh, if show this content so this condition actually it's either to show uh, show this content if all conditions are met yeah, so it uh, ito po yung conditions is to either uh, show the content or not. Okay, so probably, yeah, so for example, I will give you a sample condition, okay? Um, so for example, I will duplicate this block. Uh, I think I already said that it's ready. So ito po yung condition. So congratulations, I will say here, congratulations, congratulations, my friend. So I could actually say like this congratulations my friend so instead of uh, showing this congratulations my first name um, I could actually just create recreate this block here congratulations my friend uh, like that so I will just say that I will make a condition for this both of this so I will make a condition that if the email or if the first name is um, does not uh, does not exist yeah so does not exist then um, show this content show show this content so that means kung wala yung kung walang pangalan po yung person na naka-register so i will just show this this one and then um, if also if the other one is also i will make a condition that if the first name 
does exist does does exist exists then uh it will be showed so click okay so yun po so kung may first name siya ito po yung i-display kung wala naman uh, ito po yung i-display niya so that's it yun po yung gamit ng uh, conditional so there are conditionals in uh, uh say we'll show a first name does not exist and uh we'll show a first name exists okay so yun po yung yun po yung mga uh, yun po yung mga features na maganda pong uh, alamin or gamitin to make the editing of your email faster okay so i think i will just remove the uh, conditions i will remove this i uh, remove that so we don't necessarily have to do that so i think that's all for this video hopefully this helps and have a great and a wonderful day Hello and welcome to Pinoy Online Channel and don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon, bell, bell icon and click all so that you will get notification po sa lahat ng mga bagong videos that we will be uploaded. Thank you!